all right YouTube so this week I had a problem with my Nexus uh, 6p uh, which I'm running I was running Android 7.1.2 and basically the battery life was ruined uh, in this last update I would have like a hundred percent battery and I, I could run my my cell phone for two hours so I had to find out a way to solve the problem it's unacceptable to charge six, at like three times a day so about the battery problem of the Android 7.1.2 in, in the Nexus software uh, at least for me the thing is I uh, started noticing that the Android system was using a lot of power and not only that was giving some random bugs of like 15% shutdown and that was like crazy I saw people like with 60% shutdown so your battery drains from 100 to 60 like and really fast I'm, I'm talking like crazy fast like I started open the camera for 15 minutes and waiting or open like the microphone and waiting six at 15 minutes just to see how much drainage I would I, I would get just having those things on like Bluetooth like Wi-Fi like uh, 4g and none of those things really made me think okay I'm having a short circuit in this in this thing so I started analyzing it and then I discovered that the Android system was taking all of it like um, if you if you go and see the cell phone uh, it, it would normally show that uh, probably less than the screen and less than one or two apps the OS doesn't take a lot of battery but in this particular cell phone it would take it would take like double the screen or or at least more than the screen it, it, the, the Android system would be the biggest uh, power consumer in your cell phone so that 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 call like that big red flag like something is wrong with this because the OS can't drain my battery that much like it, it doesn't make any sense so then I, I, I thought about, okay, maybe it's time to change the Android version because this is not going to get any better. What I started looking for was, is there an update that I can do to solve my problem? And then I found the Android O or the Android Octopus. So basically, uh, the Android O is the version like 8 of Android and it's, it's pretty much a beta. Uh, version so I just figured out how to be a beta customer it's really easy you just go into their website and and with a few clicks and make sure you back up your your stuff because if you want to roll back to the previous version of Android like the official ones you're gonna have a big big problem like losing all your data because you need to factory reset so in the step by step I'm gonna show you how to uh, make the update for the Android O and B the better uh, customer you're gonna use the Google and you're gonna put Android beta program you can just click on the first thing <laughs> that shows to you all right so in the last screen uh, you're gonna ask uh, your password and the username that you're using like the email the Gmail that you're using so I had to skip it. I don't want anybody to know my password. But anyway, uh, and you're gonna have this all of this uh, stuff that you you should read because some things are really important. And then you're gonna click in this green button saying that uh, the subscription of the device into the beta program. Uh, but you can see like it, it already knows. Uh, that I, I had the Nexus 6P and it's already saying that I made the subscription for the beta program so when you click that button it's gonna ask you about uh, if you r read all the stuff and if you know that uh, you can't roll back unless you want to make a factory set by agreeing uh, all that stuff what's gonna happen when you go to the settings uh, 
in the last part of it when you put about and you check the software updates you're gonna show you that you have the Android 8 update which is around a gigabyte of data so uh, do this at home you don't want to spend one gigabyte of your mobile data and you must be sure that you have a battery for it so I just hook my phone in the battery charger and and I forget it for about 30 minutes but anyway the thing is in a way it solved my problem so I'm not having this problem about battery anymore and it's pretty much it's pretty much good now like I, I can I can use a day it's not the best like battery ever I have to, to think twice uh, when it comes to uh, using apps that use a lot of battery or like turning off my camera to do a lot of stuff so that's it it's pretty much solved now uh, it used to be a big deal but uh, I guess if you if you go into the Android O you're gonna feel a little it's a little different and there's a, a, a little problems there and little problems here that are gonna make you like crazy so uh, continue on my, my channel like I'm gonna show you how to fix one of them which is pretty annoying and I hope you like it thanks for the view